A New Orleans treasure closed for decades is about to reopen. It is the legendary Dewdrop Inn, and you won't believe what it looks like today. Moving New Orleans Forward anchor LBJ takes you inside. After sitting dormant for the better part of two decades, the Dewdrop Inn was a mere shell of itself when we visited back in 2021. The task of purchasing and rebooting what was once a thriving hotel, restaurant, and historic night spot in the city fell to local developer Curtis Doucette. And now the unveil is ready, but getting here took some perseverance. Lots of, lots of learning along the way. Um, lots of roadblocks, challenges, but, um, but you know, here we are. So it's been a very rewarding journey. Where we are is redeveloping a property that is in a way a living museum and tribute to black history in our city. And to do so required people working on the project who cared. That's the heart and soul because we're, we're doing the storytelling, right? And there are stories that I would tell when I would walk people through this place. But the attention to detail that they've put into it, the quality that has gone into it is mind blowing to me and I've learned a lot. The new drop-in started as founder Frank Pena's barber shop and expanded to a hotel and nightclub. The functioning barber shop is a museum space and a pool has been added. And those hotel rooms themed after many of the greats that played here are already being booked. The very first thing that I'm trying to do here is honor our history and honor our past. Um, these stories were in danger of being lost. From the redesigned Groove Room performance space to a brand new kitchen, the new Dew Drop Inn is an ode to the past and what its future could look like. We imagine if the Dew Drop Inn were uninterrupted spiritually from the time that it was built in, in the first place to now, what would it look like? And in every aspect of the project, we're trying to answer that question and show that to the people. For Moving New Orleans Forward, I'm LBJ, WGNO News.